One of my gripes about Nintendo games is that for all the kind of fun stuff they do, they are all console exclusive, locked to first party hardware, which seems to me a very scummy thing to do. So I can never do an Animal Crossing stream on this channel because I don't have a Switch and I'm not gonna get a Switch because I don't want a Switch. So here's the next best thing. Hako Life is Animal Crossing, but on PC. So, cute, charming, and let's check it out. Hopefully, it'll be a nice change from getting hunted by a guy in a mascot suit. On the other hand, I appear to be trapped in this game. The exit game button doesn't work, so, um... <laughs> let's start. Ooh, you need V-Sync. Okay, um, um, okay. Okay, character creator, yes. I didn't realize that we were in, uh, in main menu. I actually thought that was pre-rendered. Um, this is a very strange way of assigning hair color. I guess it seems to be primarily aimed at those who, um dye their hair, all sorts of strange things? <laughs> okay, I guess that works? Sure. I look like I'm in a uh, 3D version of Caillou, which is kind of unsettling, but... Yeah? Oh yeah, definitely need to turn on V-Sync. train. I wish I could get on a train. <laughs> Great, this is an auspicious start. Uh, hello? Uh, oh! <laughs> oh, oh, it's... Ah, oh, God, I'm back in Mascot Land. I just got out of Mascot Land. No! Here you go, my dear. Oh, I don't like it when people call me pet names, especially if I've just met them. I'm Oma, by the way, and this is Moss. It's lovely to see a new face in town. I don't suppose you've sorted out somewhere to stay tonight. Nope, or not really. Nope. Oh, don't be silly. They can stay here. I've got an old room upstairs. Oh, that's generous. Mm, I hope I'm not going to get murdered. <laughs> Look at those cold, well, empty stairs. Not exactly cold stairs, but empty stairs. Now then, uh, how come you ended up here then, eh? Uh, well, I fell asleep. Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> well, a change of scenery is good once in a while, I say. Where was I going in the first place, I wonder? Was I trying to move, or... Is this like that time I got on the bus and wound up in Idaho? <laughs> That's a real thing that happened, by the way. <laughs> I got on a bus to go to the grocery store, and I wound up in Idaho. <laughs> uh. <laughs> ah, I'm trapped in this village now, aren't I? You can head up when you're ready, Yellow. Your room is just upstairs through the door back there. All right. Thanks much. I'm gonna die, aren't I? I'm sure I'll speak to you again tomorrow, Yellow. I'm gonna die, aren't I? But until then, sleep well. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Okay, it's morning, 8 a.m. on Second Spring. I'm sure you're dying to meet the other villagers, and I'll bet they'll be happy to see a new face. Okay, welcome to town. Apparently, this is my life now. I just live here. I was... I mean, I guess I would not have gotten off a train somewhere I wasn't intending to go, but... <laughs> Still, I have a very weird way of walking. Well, you can tell by the way I use my walk, I have no idea how to... Oh, God! <laughs> Hello, Pip. I fell asleep under a tree, and when I woke up, my red scarf wasn't where I put it. I started looking for it, but... Oh... 
Okay, so they have invented commas, um, but they don't know how to use them. This place is so big, and I'm hungry. It's right over there, Pip. Just turn 90 degrees to the right. Uh, sure, I'll look. Oh, wow, that's great. Maybe I can just take a little nap while you look? No sense in two people searching. Now, where's a good napping spot? How about over by that abandoned house? Hmm? Actually, maybe not. I suspect that's going to become my house, and I'm not sure I want to encourage Pip here to um, start napping in front of my house. It, it, pull. I found a lost scarf. Well, you're lazy. That's pretty clear. Hmm? I found it. You found it. Yep. Oh, wow. That's, like, great. Now I can get back to my nap. Totally enthused, I can tell. Uh, Oma was right. Totally enthused. Very excited for to have a uh, new face in town. Is this your house? Oma of Pip, yes. Oh, he's my neighbor. Ugh. Okay. Well, at least I know that you are not going to murder me in my sleep. Far too lazy. A workshop. Locked. Oma of May. Hello. I'm just gonna come in with that. Ah, I've got a lot of elephants, pink elephants in this town. Wait a minute, isn't pink elephants what you see when you're drunk? Drunk and sleeping in office? That what happened? Maybe I never woke up from that nap on the train. Maybe I'm still sleeping. Uh, but, um, hello, May. Or my? May, I think. Hey, have you just moved into town? I guess I have. I'm so happy to meet you. My name is May. Maybe we can be friends? Uh, as long as you don't try to murder me in my sleep, that'll do. Uh, we can be friends. Do you have anything else to say? Your house is very small. There's something magical about spring, how everything wakes up and comes alive. Okay, you don't talk like you're going to murder me in my sleep, so I think I'm okay with the two, um, <laughs> two in, uh, that are in the, um, <laughs> in the town. Moss, I'm not so sure about. Sounds beachy. This is a shrine. Offer these resources to unlock this shrine. Ah, so we are also playing Stardew Valley. Hello, Oma. How is everyone? Pleased to meet you, I'm sure. Pip was um, grateful to find his scarf, but otherwise indifferent. May I like. I like May. Now I've been chatting with Moss a little bit, and we were thinking. If you like it here and maybe wanted to help stay a bit longer, how about we fix you up somewhere proper to live? That's uh, very forward of you, but I think I'm trapped here regardless, so, um, yes, please. Wonderful. Now then, you may have seen them, but there are two houses in the village that haven't been lived in for a little while and, well, could do with a bit of fixing up. We don't think it'll take much, so if you're interested, we could see about getting some resources together and turn one of them into a lovely new home for you. How does that sound? That sounds pretty good. Oh, how splendid. I spotted a bunch of branches and debris around them last time I was up there, so maybe it's best if we start by clearing all that mess away first. Can you go and speak to Moss and see if he has any ideas? Can do. I'm gonna die. Moss is gonna kill me. He's gonna... <laughs> oh, uh, this is so exciting. Hello? Oh, look at that face. He's definitely going to murder me. What are you selling? Golf balls, I think? Uh, paint, mayonnaise, seeds for a tree and a flower, axe. Moss has a weapon, okay. Hello, Moss. Ah, yellow. I've got an old axe you could use to clear away those logs and branches. Okay, now I have the axe. I feel much safer now. Here you go. Head on over to one of the houses and get clearing. Then we can see about starting the renovation. Okay. Oh, he still has an axe. Okay. Hmm. I don't think he would, um, uh, give me an axe if he means to murder me, but, um, then again, I suppose standing behind him with an axe is, uh, make, might make it sound like, seem like I'm trying to murder him. So, here's the question. Do I want to live 
here next to Pip? Or do I want to live here next to Pip? <laughs> I think I'll go with uh, this one. It's not by this nice bend in the river. It's right next to the workshop, which is locked currently, but I'm sure we'll uh, uh, have use for it soon. And May is right here. I don't like May. Okay. Maybe the reason they're so um, they're so enthusiastic about having me here is just because I'm going to be the one doing all the manual labor. Ah, return to Oma. Okay. Hello there, Yellow. Thank you for not calling me Deary. How did you get onto those pesky logs? All gone. Oh, how wonderful. Well then, now we can get started with the renovation. Or, well, we could if we had the resources needed. Is what you need logs by any chance? Hmm. You know, I've got an old donation box you could have. That way we'll have someone to gather all the resources needed to build the house. All right, um, interact with the donation box. Okay, open it. Need 40 wooden logs, I have 27. Okay, well, more than halfway there. I don't suppose I can chop down this tree. Nope, still can't chop down that tree. I am doomed to not be able to see my house. Okay, I think I have gotten all of the wooden logs, all the fallen logs, in um, in the area. And I think that should give me what I need. Okay, everyone's here. Well, well. Look at that. You did it. I think this calls for a bit of a celebration. Dinner is on me. Well, that stew really hit the spot. Sometimes all it takes is a little energy from a new face to make a difference. Speaking of new faces, who's this over on the left? Are you a banker by any chance? You have the look of a banker. Thanks again for your hard work today. You're thanking me for making my own house. Okay. Uh, good night, I suppose. <laughs> well, pretty bare bones, but, um, I mean, we did just make it. You know, the inside of the house looks pretty good. The The outside's pretty ratty still, but the inside, not bad. It's 8.20 p.m., presumably. Or is it? Oh. Oh, this is the next morning. Okay. Good morning, Yellow. I hope you slept well. Uh, yes. Uh, fewer, uh, fewer men in, um, or some things in dog mascot costumes. Renovating the house made such a big difference to the town, I thought there must be other things we can do to brighten it up around here. Perhaps the other villages will have some ideas for things they'd like to see in town. You got some time today? Could you speak with them and find out for me? But yes, I'll talk to them. It should I should be back in a couple minutes. They're literally right next door. This area is tiny. Oh, you're helping improve the town? What a lovely idea. Hmm, well... I suppose, if it's not too much trouble, I would love to see a flower planter or two around. Noted. What about... Pip? Where's Pip? Is he inside today? Okay, what's Pip's house look like on the inside? Uh... Okay, Pip actually has a bed, which I can sleep on, apparently. Um... Which... I guess that makes sense, that he would he would consider sleeping so important that he would be willing to share his uh, sleeping spot for anyone who needed. We got trash in the back, and trash around the, at the base of the, uh... Yeah, this is broadly what I expected Pip to, um, Pip's house to be like. Uh, excuse me, Pip, hello. Oh, I'm sorry, I morphed you into the table, oh dear. Requests? Um, no idea. A fence or something? Noted. All right then. Thanks, I guess. Hello, Moss. 
Something about you unnerves me still. Hmm, so they've asked for a flower planter and a fence in town, eh? That doesn't sound like it'd be too much trouble. I don't have anything like that here, but maybe Sally can help out. Who is Sally? I haven't met her yet. Oh, that's right. I don't think you've met her yet. Sally is usually busy working away in her workshop on this and that. Ah, okay, so Sally's my other neighbor. Why don't you swing by and see if she can help us out? Could knock, could knock. Anyone there? All right. Hello, Sally. Oh, I'm getting uh, getting flashbacks to the last video I made. Uh. <sighs> Although she is significantly cuter than the dog that tried to murder me, but um, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. You must be. Wait, don't tell me. Yellow? Right? Right. I see people have been talking about me. Great! You don't have a bed here either. Where do all these villagers sleep? Hey, I'm Sally. So nice to meet you. Welcome to my little wooden home. Or, well, my workshop, I guess. You're after that flower planter and a fence, are you? Hmm. Shouldn't be too hard to put them together, I reckon. I'm gonna need some resources, though. Let's see. For the flower planter, I'll need wooden log times six and yellow petals times two. Fence, I'll need wooden log times four. Okay, so I need ten wooden logs and two petals. I already have one petal, I think. That should do it. I think we can find all of those outside somewhere. Come back when you've gathered everything and we can get to the fun part. Making stuff. Ah, I can... Now I can chop down trees. So I can chop down this tree so that I can actually see my house. There we go. Hello. How are you getting on? Got it all. Super. Nice. Okay, let's get making. Here are all the crafting recipes you have available. To craft one, first select it. Select it. Okay, craft one. Okay, craft... Uh, one fence. Okay, can I place it here? Yes, I can. Okay, interesting. I've, Animal Crossing wouldn't let you do this. This does seem like the right... Uh, the right place for it. One fence. Well, that's some pretty fine control, actually. That's a pretty small grid. I'm impressed. Okay, uh, just here, between these two houses. Okay. You can move it at any time. Cool! I placed the things. Splendid! I'm certain they've helped liven up the town more than a little bit. I was thinking, with the improvements we're doing to the town, we're soon going to run out of space. I'm sure you'll soon start running out of resources, too, if you continue to craft the things. You might have seen, but there's quite a bit of space on the other side of the river. It's not that wide, and I'm pretty sure if you ask Sally nicely, she'll, she might help us sort out some kind of a bridge. I think I am about to have to move that, um, uh, that uh, fence I just placed. Oh, by the way, Oma wanted to speak to you about something. Go and have a chat with her when you've got time. I'll head on, on over right now, actually. I haven't seen her today. Oh, Yellow! If you've got a few minutes, I thought I'd tell you about something I'm pretty sure you're going to like. I'm calling them Mayor Merits, but basically they're rewards you unlock by doing small jobs around the town. Wait, am I the mayor suddenly and nobody told me? When you plant trees or whatever, you'll make progress toward a merit and a reward. You'll find a new tab in your backpack where all the merits are listed, but you can see how close you are to, uh, so you can see how close you are to completing one. Have a lovely day, Yellow. Okay, so I have arrived in this random town. They have immediately made me their mayor. And... <laughs> am, I, am I being conned right now? Welcome to the Mayor Merits page here. You can see all the merits you can unlock and your progress toward each one of them. Okay, so... I can wave at villagers. Backpack upgrade. Okay, that's pretty good. Wait a minute, how am I supposed to wave at villagers without emotes? Sprinting unlocked. Okay, that's good. I need four more objects placed in town. Map unlocked. Distance traveled 40. 40 what? And time spent sprinting. A, a 
bomb? Why do I need a bomb? <laughs> Boots fished up and time sent sprinting. Oh no, fishing. Of course there's a fishing minigame. No! Oh, and there's more. There's a lot of... Right, there's a lot of stuff. Hello, Sally. I'm here to build bridges. Ah, yellow. What are we building today? A bridge. A bridge? Well, haha. -ha. That's definitely not what I was, what I was expecting. Uh, to be honest, I thought I would come way later anyway also. A bridge, eh? Hmm. Well, for starters, we're going to need a bunch of wooden planks. Reckon you could help me out with that? Sure. Okay, I've unlocked the crafting recipe for wooden planks. Great! Here's the crafting recipe for wooden planks. About ten should do it, I think. While you're sorting that out, I'll get to work on a design. Okay. So, wooden planks. So, uh, it takes two logs to make wooden planks. Okay. Okay, hello Sally, I have your planks. I threw together a quick design for a bridge that I think will work. You want to have a go at making it? See the design table over there with all the drawings and paper on it? That's where you can turn designs into real objects. Choose an existing design to customize or craft, huh? Shows you information on the selected design. Choose build to turn the design into a real object. I suspect this means customization later, but right now we're just building an object. Woo! I told you you could do it. That bridge is going to do a great job of letting us over that pesky river, I'm sure. Now all that's left is to find a good place for it. I'll leave that in your capable hands, teammate. Okay, um... This uh, needs to be moved, so... <laughs> I can block Pip from his house. No, I'm not going to do that. There. He can have, the, he can have his fence. Alright. B... Select the bridge and replacement mode. All right, give it a try. Now we have a bridge. Everyone's turned out. Well, well. What a magnificent bridge. Well done, Yellow and Sally. You've truly outdone yourselves. It brings a tear to my eye to see the lovely things you've been doing for us, Yellow. You know, I'm sure there are other folks out there who'd love to come live with us here. In fact, I'm certain one or two visitors of my inn mentioned they'd be interested in moving. Mm-hmm. Sadly, we don't have any houses for them to move into, though. Ah, but we do. With a little bit of work, Yellow here put together enough resources to renovate one house. I'm sure if we ask nicely, they'll help us with the second one. Uh, sure. How exciting. Sure, I'll fix it. Um, we're gonna fix this up. I think we need to make it so you can actually see the house. So, goodbye, trees. There are now, I believe... No trees on this side of the river. Uh, 40 wooden logs. We're putting in a lot more wood into this villager house than we put into mine. Okay. I see. We're going to have to build stairs to get up these. <laughs> insurmountable waste. This insurmountable waste high ledge. You know something I approve of? There appears to be no durability on these tools. For some reason, the new Animal Crossing decided to make it so that you have to craft tools over and over and over again, because they have durability. But I don't think it really adds anything to the, the experience, does it? Let's transfer four, please. Okay. Well, won't you just look at that? Another house beautifully restored. I must say, you've really made a big difference since arriving here, Yellow. It makes me smile to see how much a little town is growing. Ooh, I wonder who's going to be our first lucky new resident. How exciting! This calls for a celebration, I think. Two celebrations in two days. Ah, it's the... Okay, we got the banker pig and an office worker bunny. Everybody! I'm very happy to announce that the renovation of our second home is complete. Oh, are you interested, Benny? <laughs> Benny, huh? Benny the Bunny. I know you've been talking about moving for a while now. I'm not sure. <laughs> Weren't you just saying how much you were fed up with your job? You look like you're fed up with your job with that half-tucked shirt. Well, yeah, but packing everything up and moving away is a big change. 
That's true, but it doesn't have to be. Maybe I'm biased, but I think you should definitely move here. Yellow, you moved in recently. What do you think? <laughs> There's only one option. <laughs> and that is... Do it! <laughs> well then. You know what? I'll do it! Tomorrow I'm going to hand in my resignation. How far away do you live? Yay! It won't take me that long to pack, either. Well, that settles it, then. Now I think it's time for us to all get a good night's rest before the big day tomorrow. Uh, good night, I suppose. We still don't get to meet that pig. Apparently it is tradition for bad weather to come whenever, uh, whenever somebody new arrives in town. Ah, yellow! We've just finished moving Benny into his new home. You know, I can already feel my mood lifting. This house is really great, Yellow. I would never have had to have the energy for such a renovation project. Now I've just got to unpack. Maybe it's time for, or maybe it's time for a nap. Haha. <laughs> it's still the morning, Belly. Benny. Not that you can tell. Yeah, but there was a lot of boxes to move. Two boxes, Benny. You had two boxes. Yeah, but they were still heavy. <laughs> you can have your nap if you like, Benny. This is a stress-free town, my dear. And what could be more stress-relieving than a good nap, eh? Oh, Rosa, huh? If I may. Now that we're done with the move and, and the paperwork is completed, I'd like to have a word with you both, Oma and Yellow. Oh, boy. Um, let me guess. I have to pay property taxes. This sounds interesting. What's on your mind, Rosa? It was Rosa, wasn't it? Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rosa. I run a well-established real estate company in this area. I've seen the work you've been doing here, Yellow, and I must say I'm impressed. The town really has become quite the attractive location. I feel it would be a great opportunity for everyone if I were to set up an office here. I have a solid group of contacts that would like would be, uh, would be able to assist in the construction of future properties. With your consent, I could have my office set up by tomorrow. Would that be something you'd be interested in? As I say, it would be quite the opportunity for you. Not sure I want a real estate company in my community. I'm not sure I, w <laughs> I want powerful... Like, right now, this land seems to be held broadly in common. I'm not sure I want to start parceling it up. Oh my. That all sounds very official, doesn't it? What do you think? Should we build some more houses? It would be lovely to have more residents and friends here. Okay. This is the time for the impression. Do it! Very good. I'll begin the paperwork and arrange everything with my people. I have already taken the liberty of getting clearance for our new building in the town center, and construction will be complete tomorrow. Excellent! How exciting! Very good. With that then, I'll bid you all a good day. Please do come by the office tomorrow when it is completed. Good day. I hope it's a good day tomorrow. Looks like May's in. Don't say hello, I suppose. Hello, May. I hope I'm not dripping over your nice floor. Oh, Yellow, hi. The town is really starting to look nice. I was thinking of other ways we could improve things around here, and if you've got a minute, I have a suggestion. Let's hear it. Okay. Yay! Thank you. I was thinking we could maybe have some more trees? They look great, and they're really good for wildlife. What do you think? Let's do it. I just need to figure out how to plant them. Woo! Erm, um, though, there's one thing. I don't have a shovel, and I think you're going to need one. Hmm. I know. Hmm. Here's a crafting recipe for a shovel. I don't think it needs much, and once you've got that shovel, we can plant some trees. Let me know when you're ready. Okay. My crafting recipes. Wooden plank and a wooden log. Okay. And now I can craft a basic shovel. Okay. Okay, here's some tree seeds. I think there's six all together. Could you plant them for me? Sure. Uh, so, R. Shovel. Let's try here. And R seeds. It's gonna be a conifer. Q. Uh, no. E. Okay. So 
That's one. That should be all the trees I need to go back to May. Hooray! Durham, do you think you could maybe help me out with something else? Sure, what do you got? Yay, thank you! I was thinking, we could make the town a lot prettier with just some fl with some flowers. Now that you've got a shovel, I don't think it would be that much work. I think moss sells flower seeds. Uh, that's a problem. I have literally one coin. Might be a good idea to speak to him and see if he has anything you can use. Please come and say hi when you're done planting, if you're not too busy. Okay. Ah, yellow. What can I help you with today? Flower seeds. Oh! Paint planting flowers, are we? How wonderful. I've got plenty of seeds here. I actually have an extra bag that got delivered by mistake. It seems to be a mix of different seeds, so if you don't mind your flowers being different types, you can have that. Sure. Excellent. Here you are. How are you doing for cash? Ain't got none. <laughs> ah. Yes, that's what I was worried about. No doubt you've got a bunch of stuff in your backpack you don't need or want. What do you say I take those things off off of your hands? For a price, of course. I have her... Got a guy. You've got a guy. He'll buy anything so... Why, why does this sound shady? If there's anything you don't need, just come speak to me and I'll buy it off you and pass it on to him. How's that sound? Yeah, I can do that. Marvelous. Just come and speak to me whenever you have something you'd like to sell. Alright, I'll be back later, I suppose. How do you sell all these deflated golf balls? I don't understand. How? Where do you even find golf balls that deflate? How many flowers do I have? I have eight flower seeds. Okay. So, how about right here? Found a worm. Ah, oh, this is not centered. Okay, okay. Um, this is not the right spot for these flowers. Okay, how about this? Uh, start defining this courtyard here. Done. All right, over to me. All right, hello me. I planted the flowers. Hello, I saw what you did with the flowers. It looks so nice around town now. They haven't sprouted yet. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your help. I feel bad for making you do all that work. It's not much, but here's a little cash for you. Hey, whoa, 200, uh, 200 uh, uh, coins. Not bad, okay. Right, I guess I... Oh, hello, Pip. Just standing out in the rain, huh? You know, I think I've already had too much exercise for today. Oh, I get the... I get the irony now. You've got all this exercise and sports get-up, but you're actually really lazy. I get the joke now. I should really take it easy. Right, well... I think I've done just about everything I want to do today. It's now one... 40 p.m. Let's, um, let's, uh, go to sleep and wake up on Monday. Ooh, this is some nice morning lighting. A little bit windy today. And it looks like our flowers are starting to grow. Interesting variety. How are the trees doing? Trees are be beginning to look tree -y. Nice. What am I doing? Ah, I can move the bridge. Okay, no, I don't want to do that. Can I move the bridge when I'm st Oh, it moves me off to the side. Drat! <laughs> I was wondering if something more interesting would happen. Okay, knock, knock. Hello, Benny. Oh man, moving home sucks. Too many boxes to deal with. Oh, believe me, I know it. Could you give me a hand? Ah, you need to open. Okay, move that there for a moment. What's this? A blender. You brought a blender and a TV. Um, let's see. Well, I guess the blender could go here and... I can put it in the ba my backpack. Left shift to rotate. Where's the right place to... 
Ooh. Here's something you can't do in Animal Crossing. Fine rotation. Pretty impressive. Ah, and fine movement. Cool. Uh, I guess you watch, like, right here so you can watch TV in bed. You need a table, my friend. I'm a little sad. I just realized that I've now tried every flavor of potato chip that's available. Even the tuna fish salad one. <sighs> I know it might seem like I'm awake surprisingly early, but I just haven't been to bed yet. Oh, I know that feeling. Oh, uh, yes? Sorry, I was just thinking about how soft and fluffy puppies are. Well, you mean like Sally. <laughs> Does Sally count as a puppy? Or is she too old to be a puppy? There's nothing better than curling up with a hot water bottle and a blanket to watch some TV. You know, I've never had a hot water bo bottle. And you know what you don't have? A TV. So, yes, to confirm, these trees do grow back. Ah, uh, hello, Rosa. Ah, yellow. Good to see you. As you can see, the preparations are completed and my office has been set up. This means I'm ready to start taking requests for new houses from today. I like that these people were so desperate for just anyone with a, an ounce of, uh, ounce of uh, get her done that they've just immediately made this random person the mayor. Oh, and I should probably talk to you. I need to keep you on my good side so you don't murder me in my sleep. Hello, Moss. Oh, hello. Oh, buy my stuff. Um, <laughs> would you like a bag of cash? Well, I will trade you this bag of cash for a bag of cash. <laughs> Hello, Rosa. Please do not turn my town into a uh, into a nimby, um, nimby, nimby hellscape with sky high property taxes and. All, Car dependent subdivisions and just please. Please. Thank you for visiting my office, Yellow. Here I offer two services for you. Firstly, you can buy roof and wall designs for the, from the displays on the right here. Okay? These let you customize the outside of any house. I change these the stock regu regularly, so please do come by and browse when you have a spare moment. Okay. Secondly, and most importantly, I offer building services. If you would like to build a new house, you will need to place an order with myself. Here you can browse through houses available to build. As you can see, you'll need both money and resources to build houses. So 16 wooden planks and 400, uh, <coughs> 400 coins. Feel free to browse. When you're done looking, please close the screen. So, general, generic building. Ah, okay, so it's just different. Uh, okay. So all of the same visual styles, presumably because you can customize them, but um, different ways of uh, different sort of structures. Okay, this requires stone, wood, and brick. Stone and redwood plank. Okay. Okay. I hope you were able to appreciate the different types of house we can build for you. As a matter of fact, I already have a client who is very much interested in moving to town. Once we have a house ready for them, I can begin the process of moving them in. Please, do come and speak to me when you're ready to start building. Okay, I think that just about wraps up everything I wanted to cover with you, Yellow. I'll leave you to get on with your day. Ooh, I can just move your office around, can I? <laughs> I can! <laughs> okay. <laughs> can I move your desk? No, I can't move the desk, dang it. Okay, so, new task, build a new house. For that, I need wood. Wood, wood, wood. And also money. Oh, hello, who are you? Yara. Why, hello there. It's always such a pleasure to meet another wandering spirit. You have such a wonderful aura about you. So light and so colorful. The color is, in fact, yellow. Thank you. Isn't it just delightful? What is? The tiny world of the insects. These beautiful little creatures fluttering, buzzing, and going about their business. After all, aren't we all just like the little butterfly flying around in the great garden of life? I guess. I Personally, I have fewer birds chasing me. You know, I study them. Study what? 
It's butterflies, of course. The insects, my dear. Oh, please don't call me my dear. Spawning patterns, eating habits, auras, auras. The lot. Have you ever looked at a butter butterfly up close? Yes. Utterly mesmerizing creatures, they truly are. You should try catching one. Why, I have the perfect thing. Here, take this bug net. I always keep a spare, so don't worry about returning it. Oh, thank you. You are so very welcome, my, my friend. I'm sure with a closer look, you'll soon recognize yourself in the humble butterfly, a meandering spirit carried in the wind. You know, this truly is a wonderful uh, area for observing them. Achievement unlocked, quit bugging me. I'll look. Then I shall burden you no longer with my words. May your field, feet take you, much like the butterfly, lightly through this world. Uh, butterfly feet don't really carry them very many places. They mostly rely on their wings. Uh, and you, I suppose. Farewell, my friend. Yara, huh? Anything else to say, Yara? There we go. That's a better look at you. Um, you're, you're kind of freaky, but everyone in this town is freaky, including me. What a glow I feel from your presence. May your light never fade. Okay. So now we get to the true um, Animal Crossing business of catching bugs. I've got a peacock. That's a peacock butterfly, not an actual peacock. It's 68 millimeters. Meadow. Ooh, different biomes, huh? Interesting. Okay, what are you? Yeah, no, no, no. Cute. Okay, it's kind of hard to tell. A swallowtail. That doesn't look like the swallowtails I'm used to. 87 millimeters. And... Yeah, this is really meant for a controller, isn't it? I got a Kaiser E. Hind. Or Kaiser One Hind, maybe? Here's something that Animal Crossing doesn't do. Uh, droppable items do not over can overlap with um, uh, terrain, so they're not likely to uh, lose things. Dang you, butterflies! Stop flying through people's houses! No, don't go out to sea. Butterflies will not do well at sea. A Bhutan glory. There's a strangely large number of butterflies at the beach. All right, sell some butterflies. Ooh, Bhutan glories are worth quite a bit. I'll keep the rest for now. All right. Hello, Rosa. Good afternoon, Yellow. What can I assist you with? I have enough... I'll be right back. Okay, I have the planks. New house. Buy house. Where am I gonna put it? Have you decided on the location? Around here. Yeah, right. Ah, I can go back into the... Um... Back into the thing, okay? Yes, right here. Thank you for the confirmation, Yellow. We'll get started right away. It should be done in a couple of days. I shall be overseeing the construction, and so I will be out of the office until building uh, work has been completed. Thank you. All right, day number whatever. I spent the last few days. Aha. Uh -huh. The uh, new uh, the new house is built. I spent the last few days just. Puttering around, catching butterflies, planting many, many trees, because uh, wood is hard to come by. But now it looks like our new villager house is finally done. Ah yes, very good. Hello, this is the client I was telling you about, Tola. We've gone through with the paperwork and they're ready to move into this lovely new home. There's just a few things left I need you to do and we'll be all set. Uh, okay, since I'm apparently the de facto mayor of this town. Wonderful. We need to set Tola as a res as the resident for this house. If you could please interact with the sign outside of the house, we can begin. I can't. I'm not allowed to talk to Tola until I have uh, uh, until I've moved her in. Okay. Decorate. Unlock. May I to build? Do building customization. Okay. Uh, why to move someone in? Oh yeah, I'm on a controller now. Okay, put Tola here. 
There we have it. Tola is now officially registered as the resident for this home. I'm sure you're eager to build more homes in this area, Yellow? I am, I guess. <laughs> we're running out of space, but excellent. I'm a little worried, though. If we're not careful, we may run out of space. I was just thinking about that. We don't want things to feel cramped around here, do we? Nope. Got any stairs for me? You'll be pleased to know, however, that I have a solution. Is it, by any chance, three stairs so we can get up this uh, small, uh, small ridge? I had a chat with one of my builders, and they mentioned that it wouldn't be much work gaining access to that raised area just there. They even were kind enough to give me a design for some stairs they think would work well. I believe you're far better equipped to create such an item, so I would like to hand you the design over to you. Thank you. Short stairs. All right. Excellent. I believe that's everything I wanted to cover today. By the way, I spoke with Oma recently, and she mentioned that more and more people are expressing an interest in moving to town. It might be worth speaking to her about potential future residents. Will do. Great. Okay, then, that's everything. I hope you enjoy your new home, Tola. I'll no doubt speak to you again soon, Yellow. Good day. Goodbye. Alright. Eh. Hello, I should go say hello to Tola. Tola is not in here right now, but Tola has some... Uh, interesting and kind of spooky space wallpaper. Also, it occurs to me that... Um, oh, there you are. So great to have moved. Can't wait to explore. Got some unpacking left, though. I've started building tree farms. This one is the further along of the two. It's also the smaller. Because <laughs> uh, wood is um, problematic. So, Tola, I'm, I'm afraid you've got these lovely trees that I'm immediately going to cut down for uh, wood. Oh, yes. I also unlocked Sprint, such as it is. Right. I think I should have... Oh yeah, this tree here, the one surrounding uh, the uh, workshop, not actually real. The stairs require 15 planks. Okay. So, um, I, I can craft one and I have uh, not many. Okay, it's going to take a while to build those stairs. I can see what some of the reviews were talking about when they... Uh, we're talking about how grindy this game is. I mean, of course it's grindy. It's, an, it's basically an Animal Crossing clone, but... Uh, yeah, a lot of time just waiting for things. I heard that May is secretly terrified of robots. I better not invite them around my lab, huh? You have a lab? Why... You, you, I wouldn't have taken you for the type. You know, one thing that uh, this game is kind of struggling with is sort of smoothness. The uh, music um, does not transition smoothly from the uh, morning music to the afternoon music, or and uh, when you catch a bug, the uh, camera's kind of jerky. It's definitely sort of lacking the polish of uh, uh, actual Animal Crossing. Oh, yellow! Okay, I just came back to the inn to put some stuff in the cupboard, and uh, we got a new uh, villager who appears to be a hipster. Perfect timing. This is Owen. Owen with a Y. Definitely a hipster. Why don't you have a chat with them and see if they're interested in moving here? Uh, leave it to me, I guess. I mean, you're right there. I'm loving the vibes of this place. The big cities, man, they give such negative feels, sometimes definitely a hipster. Uh, negative feels? Yeah, like all that stress, the pollution, the never-ending concrete. Well, that's because you, uh, your people don't know how to make cities properly. Not to mention all those big corporate billionaires strutting around. Just how many billionaires do you meet on a daily basis? Now, this is more my kind of place. Just kick back and enjoy nature while contemplating the significance of all things. Uh, move in. We don't have any houses. Wow, thanks, man. Would love to. Just gotta finish up a few things at the city first. Okay. Uh, right. I need even more wood now. I gotta build another house, and I gotta, um, build those stairs. Alright, I guess I just need to sell some butterflies and, um, wait for trees to go grow so I can build the many things that require wood. 
could probably um, also continue expanding my tree farms. All right, and that gets me 83 logs. Nice. Okay, so now, now we can go and um, build those stairs. All right. Apparently there's a bit of clay there. Move this. That gives me an extra long as well. All right. I'm going to use the mouse for this. All right. Do, 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 do. Like there. Stairs! Now we can get up here. Now we have more logs to um, knock down. And I can get at these logs. I chopped this log down before. But, um, you know, I couldn't get to it because of the insurmountable waste high fence. Now then. Wooden logs. Well, I can get the wooden logs right now. And yellow petals I can probably gather. Now what is this? Uh, forest. More wooden logs. And grass tufts. Let's worry about things later. Uh, this goes down to a waterfall. Unlock small bridge. Okay, so I can get across here if I make a small bridge. All right. And this... Hmm. This is probably a... Nope. That doesn't work. Large stairs. Two... Ah, mine. Ooh, a broken pickaxe. Hmm, this pickaxe looks broken. I should take it to Sally. Alright, so this is something that Animal Crossing doesn't have. A mine. Oh well, this pickaxe has indeed seen better days. Poor thing. She very much uh, anthropomorphizes her tools, doesn't she? Nothing a little bit of work can't fix, though. Leave it to me and I'll bring it back to its former glory in no time. Or, well, actually come back tomorrow. I'm totally in the middle of something and I don't want to break my flow, you know? Alrighty. Okay. Oh, Yellow, I didn't see you. We were, we were just talking. I was just, uh, talking to myself. <laughs> Actually, while you're here, do you think you could bring me one wooden plank? I'd like to build a bird table. Uh, yeah, I, I can do that. Uh, I have... I have enough logs for that. Alright, May. It is the beginning of the universe. It is plank time. My idea of heaven is a good book, a cup of cocoa, and a purring cat on my lap. Wait a minute, all the cats here are people the size of you. That's a very strange image. Okay, it's blank time. Thank you so much, Yellow. Ooh, hearts and things. Here's a dark khaki short says something in return. I love having a shorts. <laughs> Let's put on a shorts. Actually, that is an improvement over my jeans. You're looking really happy now. There's nothing better than curling up with a hot water bottle and blanket to watch some TV. I would have thought of taking you more for the book type. All right. Uh, after many uh, diversions, let's go and place that bridge. All right. B for backpack. Bridge. And about like about like that. All right. So what's over here? Ooh, that's... Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Delicate blue flower plant. I got some blue petals. Okay, that's new. Uh, oh. Trash. Trash is what's over here. What is the shrine one? Wind log and old boot. Oh, this is a fishing pond. Ugh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nobody's given me a fishing rod so far, but... You know, it's it's an Animal Crossing game. It's definitely a fishing spot. I haven't unlocked fishing yet. Thank goodness. But it's coming. Oh, it's coming. Ugh. Ah! Oh no, it's here. Hello, Darius. I'm hiding. I'm hiding in these uh, in these trees to try and um, avoid uh, achievement unlock. Blah blah. No, I'm hiding in these trees to try to avoid 
learning how to fish, but I cannot escape. My, this is quite unusual. I don't often meet anyone up here. I was actually just on my way to the grove for to a spot of fishing. But I just barely got the bridge back up. It looks like you've just been there? Tell me, is it as messy as it was before? Trash everywhere, that kind of thing? Uh, it's gone, actually. I cleaned it up. Oh my, really? Well, that is fantastic, isn't it? What kind of soul thought to clear up all that mess, huh? I did. Oh my, it was you? You have my utmost thanks. How nice of you. I've been coming fishing here for years, and I must say, it definitely started to lose its appeal with all that unsightly mess everywhere. So, if you've been coming here for years, why didn't you clean up the trash? Come to think of it, is it your trash? I doubt the fish were very fond of it either. But hey, we don't have to worry about that anymore, thanks to you. I'm at the Grove most days, actually. E either that or by the beach, so if you fancy fishing tips, uh, do come and say hi. My name's Darius, by the way. It's been a pleasure to meet you. And you, even though I know it's, um... Uh, uh, I don't want to fish, but... But I really ought to, to show it off. Hello, Darius. Oh, yellow! How wonderful it is to see your face again. I was We were just talking. I don't suppose you'd come by for some fishing tips from this old chap, have you? Uh, I suppose. Splendid! Well now, how have you been getting on? Managed to catch anything? Got no rod. Ah, haha. <laughs> well, that will cause just a little difficulty, I'd imagine, huh? I don't have a spare rod on me, but they seem pretty simple to make. Here, have this crafting recipe for a fishing rod. Perhaps you can craft one and use that, eh? Okay... Fantastic! Here you are. I'm sure once you've got the crafted rod in your hands, you'll be catching fish left, right, and center. Don't be a stranger, though. Come and say hi and show off the fine fish you've caught. <sighs> oh, oh, well, it isn't my favorite little fisher. That's... I'm, I'm not sure I like you calling me that. Tell me about, um, fishing. Ah, I would like some fishing tips, eh? Well, then, let's see. It's not too tricky, I'd say. Once you've cast your line out, out, be patient and wait for fish to start nibbling at the bait. Don't be too hasty, but when the fish takes a big uh, bit bite, I presume you mean big bite, press interact to hook the fish. You won't have long before the fish loses interest and swims away to make sure you hook it quickly. Once you've hooked the fish, you'll need to reel it in. To reel the fish in, you'll need to press and hold the directions shown on the screen. Oh, no. Once reeling is complete, you'll pull the fish out of the water. Hurrah! I'm not sure hurrah is... Okay, fish, take my unbaited hook. Yeah. Uh. Uh, so, up on the jo No, line snapped. Okay. Ah. Uh. It's so lame. Okay. Keep the bar. I got a sculpin. The heck is a sculpin? Right. Another sculpin. That all that's in this pond is sculpin? Whatever the heck a sculpin is? Yeah, just another sculpin. <laughs> just another sculpin. Ugh. Uh, Moss, please tell me that these weird fish are worth something. 16 each. But 48. I guess that's... Okay. 
I hate fishing. Okay, I'm gonna check on my tree farms and then go to bed. No! No! <laughs> no! I don't want a fishing tournament! Uh, the 17th of spring. It's the 12th of spring now. Ugh. Ah, fishing tournament. Hello, Sally. So I finished fixing up the pickaxe. Not a bad job, even if I do say so myself. Thank you, Sally. Anytime, yellow. Oh, hey, you know what? I bet you can use that pickaxe to get into the mines now. Of course, they're super dangerous, and I should totally tell you not to go in there, but... They're amazing! Be careful, yeah? I will. Great! Oh, another thing, before I forget. What was it now? Oh, yeah! Uh, now that you've been busy gathering different resources, I figured you might want to have a go at crafting other kinds of items? Uh, yes, please. <laughs> I thought you might. So I actually have a bunch of crafting recipes that I found buried away in this workshop. I figured I could open up a small shop and sell them. And I thought you might be interested? I am, yes. Woo, okay! Do you want a quick look now, or do you want to come back later? Uh, let's do that now. Okay. Alright. All the crafting recipes you can buy, more will be added over time. Okay. So I need to... Okay, once you purchase a crafting recipe, that item will show up in the crafting interface, and you'll be able to craft it. Black fabric dye. Excuse me! <laughs> I can be a jewel cutter! I have to learn how to do ingots, fabric dyes, wallpaper. This might be a good look for my house, or maybe green twisting vines. I'll get them both. Hello. Maybe some kind of carbon fiber would work? Carbon fiber? I need something stronger to build my furniture out of. You know, I wouldn't have pegged you for a scientist, but um, apparently you are. The luck on my wooden chair just couldn't take all the strain last night and broke. I really need to replace my furniture with something more durable. Fix my broken chair. Okay, have a chat with Sally and see what she says. Okay. Ah, yes, that poor chair has seen better days. I think a little bit of work won't fix, though. Okay. Could you make me a steel or two? Then we can fix this poor fella. Okay. Whack these rocks, I suppose. Okay, so these rocks contain both stone and coal. Okay, and what do you want, the shrine? You want wooden log and stone. Well, I can give you the stone right now. I'll have to visit my tree farm for the logs. But that can come later. Welcome to the mine! Where it is apparently super dangerous, and you want coal and stone. Alright. Well, it doesn't seem too bad to me so far. This doesn't seem like the kind of game where I'm going to be fighting monsters. Ooh, this looks like the sort of thing I would get iron from. Okay, whoop, I left some, uh, left some iron there, I think. Yep. No, that's copper. Okay, so I got copper, but I don't have any iron yet. Hmm. It's a bit too dark. Alright, so I need some sort of light. Ah, Sally is here. I knew it! Haha! <laughs> I knew you wouldn't be able to resist heading into the mine. How was it? Uh, dark. Pretty great, eh? Dark? Ah! <laughs> yeah, it gets pretty dark in there. Tell you what, I know just the thing that can help you. Come with me and we'll sort it out. Ooh. Okay, what do you want? Okay, so, when I used to go looking for ores and stuff in the mines, I would always take a few mine lanterns with me. You can plunk them down here and there and they'll keep the place nice and bright for you. That way you won't miss any ores or anything hiding in the darkness. <laughs> or some! I approve of that. Haha, <laughs> she likes it too. Sure. Here you go. Thank you. Just craft a few of these beauties, and you'll be heading into the depths in no time. Okay, we can make six. Limited by coal, I guess. Alright, back to the mines. This time, with lights. Let's see. Okay. 
here. Ooh, that, that looks like iron. It also looks brighter over there. Ooh, and we got iron from that rock as well. Nice. Can't see anything. Oh, this pickaxe isn't strong enough. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to upgrade the pickaxe. Fortunately, I did get a little bit of iron, so I can complete that quest. Hey, got that steel yellow? I do. Great. You know what? Why don't you have a go at fixing the chair? I reckon you'll do a great job. Alongside crafting copies of the item, you can now use the cut. You can now customize that item. It's like the customize button to continue. This chair needs a new leg. To start adding pieces, press. Uh, let's do this. Click add stuff to view available pieces. Add stuff. Here are all the pieces you can add to the design. Select the chair leg piece. It's in completely the wrong spot, but um, okay. Oh, okay. Just snap. This looks much better. Click save to save your design. Save, I guess. Okay. Woo! Great job, Yellow. I'm sure that chair's owner is going to be very pleased with the work you did. You know, I couldn't figure out the best material for furniture, so I'm just going to stick with what I got for now. Did you fix the broken chair, by the way? I did. Good job, Yellow. This actually looks pretty sturdy, too. Thanks. Okay. Merit achieved. Ooh, Benny has a request. Is Benny home? And he is not home. Ah, here you are. You're having a lazy villager convention. You're arguing about the best way to be lazy. Hey, Benny, you have a request for me, I gather? Hey, Yellow, have you ever tried building a flat pack furniture? Oh, I have, and it never, ever, ever goes well. It's horrible. So many steps, screws loose, things everywhere. I tried making a bookshelf, and it ended up a mess. Oh. You're good at that stuff, right? You can help me with my bookshelf. Uh, sure. Here. I was almost done, I think. Just some shelves left to add, maybe. Have a go, Yellow. You can't make it worse. Oh, you haven't seen my flat pack furniture. All right. So we got bookshelves. Customize it into the design tool. We'll add some more shelves. Okay. Rotate the camera. Move the mouse while holding down right mouse button. Okay. Okay, add shelf. Kind of stick out in a really annoying way. Ah, once you add a piece, you can, you'll start on the move tool. Click and drag the, move, the arrow to move the piece. Okay. Ah, that's some very fine control. Like the rotate tool to continue. <laughs> okay, I will give this the true spirit of flat pack. Furniture. I can't figure out any snap to. <laughs> one end that's not connected and one end that's sticking out. <laughs> and, um, oh, you can even see it diagonally on the back. <laughs> and, um, just a random, uh, just a random, uh, <laughs> block here. <laughs> just to, um, really, really drive home that nobody had any idea what that nice photo. <laughs> Press and save a new design. Save it. <laughs> it's still there. <laughs> that is a very nice inventory icon rendering of this terrible, terrible, useless bookshelf. It's perfect. That is the epitome of flat pack. Ah, uh, Benny. I did it. But I guarantee you were wrong about me not being able to make it worse. Ah, uh, poor Benny. He's getting home and ruining his home. But he's too lazy to do any of this himself, so this is what he'll have to live with. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> so, Pip wants me to repaint his, uh, what was it, a bench? Here are all the paints in your backpack. Select a paint to continue. Apparently, I just, all I have is blue paint. 
Okay, the piece you would like to paint, add some color. Well, that is actually very nice. That is actually very, a very uh, pleasing shade of blue. <laughs> I'm gratified to see that the, um, that the ease, these aren't quite straight either. <laughs> I was gonna, trying to go for a surprisingly nice table, but it won't fit so, fit, so this will be the surprisingly Nick. Okay, so here's a new person. Who are you, Laurus? Oh, darling, what a charming little town you all have here. I don't think I want you in my town. It's bad enough that um, Oma calls me Deary. Cozy, very rustic. Thank you? Hmm, yes. You stop calling me, sweetie. Don't you think your outfit is a little uninspired? It's just clothes. I mean, sweetie, it's not exactly pushing any boundaries, is it now? You're pushing some boundaries right now. But I suppose it's not entirely unexpected. You've got no fashion store here, darling. I know! How about I set up shop here? Bring a little pizzazz into the sleepy village. What do you say? Um... No need to say it, darling. I'm doing this for you. Who... We just... Uh, ah. Pushing boundaries indeed. A terrific service. Don't call me, sweetie. This town won't know what a hit once I'm here. Thanks. I'll make the calls, gather my people. Oh god, she's got people. We'll get started building tomorrow, but darling, no need to worry. Just a few more days looking like... Well, yes, this will be good for you, sweetie. Uh, <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> I hate her. I hate her already. <sighs> all right. Four hours of sleep after staying up all night. Ready to go, am I right? Okay. So I guess first things first, I need to visit Moss, sell all this stuff. And then uh, let's let's go try that new fashion store. Hello, Tola. All right, now I have a bit of money. I guess let's go visit... Um, Is it the fashion store? Oh, 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 that's sure. I am a meat. No. <sighs> Hello, Laurus. You're looking stunning! That is ex. Excuse me, these are exactly the clothes you made fun of previously. Apparently, I can get a makeover. Uh. Okay, are these new hairstyles or old ones or. I think this is just the character creator again. Um, I'll take the lampshade. These are all terrible. I think I'll pass. Goodbye, lovers. <laughs> uh, right. Um, let's get out of here. All right. So we finally got some new stuff here. Most of it is terrible. This might be worth attention, though. Black jacket. Sure. And, um, red is not my color, but, so, let me see, so, black jacket, that actually looks pretty okay, and, not, uh, not right for this season, but, perhaps in future. Alright, do you have anything to say? Uh, make no, I do not want your stupid makeover. Huh, <sighs> okay. I wonder who's in the inn today. You look like a farmer. Hello, Aubrey. Oh, hi there. You know, I've fallen utterly in love with your beautiful little village. Great weather, fresh air, fantastic soil quality. Things seem to grow really well here, had you noticed? Yes, trees can grow in three days. I thought you looked like the green-fingered top. That's actually pretty rare these days, but I'm hoping with a bit of hard work, I can help fix that. Oh wait, I've forgotten to introduce myself. I'm Aubrey, I run a farm out of town. I've been thinking about setting up a shop around here as well. You know, selling seeds and maybe running a workshop or two on how to grow your own crops. It would be so nice to see more people spending their time growing things. 
Sounds interesting. I'm glad you think so. I found an old farmhouse nearby. Land is still pretty good. I reckon it'd be the perfect place to grow crops. If it's something you might be interested in, why don't you swing by later for a chat? Just head through the gate off the forest path and keep going. You can't miss it. Alrighty. And I think that's how we unlock farming. Anything else to say? I'm so looking forward to teaching folk here how to grow their own crops. Yet another visitor. Who are you? Hurley. Hmm? Oh, hey, Yellow. Hurley was just telling me about his many adventures out at sea. I... Chasing lost treasures, fighting off sea monsters. It all sounds a little bit too intense for me. I'm far more happy with my feet on solid ground. Are you much of an ocean person, Yellow? Um, well, I've been... Like, a, a little bit. But, sure. Haha. <laughs> Well, I'm sure you and Hurley would get along swimmingly. <laughs> no doubt there are a few things you a few things you could teach Yellow, eh, Hurley? Well, weren't you just telling me about a nearby island you've just discovered? A good spot for treasure hunting, that kind of thing. I, perhaps. Why don't you take Yellow along with you sometime? Okay, so I'm not the only one that she just plonks responsibility onto. Got it. I'm sure they'd love to get out of town and explore the world a little bit. Well, could do. Wonderful! You're moored over at the beach, right, Hurley? Alright. And I am. Great! Why don't you have a chat with Hurley next time you're at the beach, Yellow? Maybe you can go and visit this island he discovered. How exciting! Either way, I'm sure you'll have lots of fun out on the sea together. Not too, um, not too keen, huh? Hmm? <laughs> That's all he has to say. Oh, there he is. Let me grab this, uh, shell. Alright, hello, Hurley. Yar. To the island, I suppose. Mm-hmm. The island? It'll cost you 200. Sure. Let's give it a go. Okay. Who are you? Ramish. Oh, hey! You out exploring the island, too? Yep. It's pretty awesome, right? Super chill. Kind of flat, though. Flat? Yeah. I was hoping I'd find some sweet climbing spots somewhere around here, but I guess I'll have to keep looking. Don't suppose you know any good places? Maybe in town you could climb the buildings. I mean, there are cliffs. You mean on the mainland? I guess I'd not really thought of that. I don't have anywhere to stay, though. Uh, you could move. I mean, if you got space, I'd love to. It's always great to have a new place to explore. You're near the mountain, right? Yep, maybe I'll find some good climbing spots around there. Thanks! Er, what was your name again? I'm Yellow. Yellow! Awesome! Alright. I'll get packing, then. Now I've just got to figure out how to get off this island. <laughs> well, you could, uh, take a ride with, uh, Hurley over here. Alright, so, what we got? Ooh. Bananas! So if this is like the, um, the, uh, generated islands in, um, New Horizons, and then I think the idea is to give me a place to sort of... Ooh, okay, that's an interesting first catch. Basically, be stealing all of these things. There we go. Alright, so that's just Piranha Pond. What can I dig up here? Can I dig up... You? I can. <laughs> I can take these ferns with me. Can't dig up the trees, though. Here's some bamboo, I think. Yep. Got some flowers, though. Fancy flowers. <laughs> just stealing all the plants from this island. Now, that's one of the... One, one of the, um sort of complaints I have about Animal Crossing uh, New Horizons. It's it's uh, it's very not eco-friendly. Like you are, you make all your money by extracting things. Well, I suppose you can uh, make, um, you can plant uh, orchards and things, but 
You're on. A, you're living on a privately owned corporate island, where you and presumably everyone in uh, the town are in broadly a uh, perpetual state of uh, debt to the owner of the island, making it sort of a company town. And you go around, you you arrive on this um, uh, untouched island, and you immediately begin completely remaking it. It's um, not as uh, not as wholesome as it likes to present itself. Oh, there's a tent over here. Okay, so what is this? Hello there, Leonard. Oh, well, hello there. You startled me. I must say, I didn't expect to bump into anyone else during my time out here. <laughs> Sorry if I'm a bit dusty and sweaty. Oh, I'm forgetting my manners. My name's Leonard. Might I be so forward as, as to ask your name? I don't think that's very forward at all. Uh, I'm Yellow. Ah, Yellow. How very pleasant it is to meet you. What you doing? Oh, this? Well, I suppose you could call this an excavation or something like that. <laughs> Truth be told, I've been out here searching for artifacts, though sadly without much luck. Apparently this island is full of thing, other things, but all I can find is rocks and sand. I don't make a very good archaeologist now, do I? <laughs> uh, can I help? Oh, um, well, I've not really considered getting help. Like I said, I didn't expect to bump into anyone else while I was out here. Hmm, let's see. You know, I've got this artifact detector that I've been meaning to try out. I'm not quite sure how it works, but it's supposed to highlight any hidden artifacts. Personally, I prepare, prefer the old methods, intuition and maps. I suppose there's no harm in you giving it a try. Alrighty. Here you go. Okay, make space. Uh, I will, you can have this shell in exchange. Make sure you take a shell with you, you never know what you might find. Perhaps you'll find something more exciting than rocks. <laughs> right, fingers crossed. Ah yes, if you do find something, could you be a deer and come back to me with it? I've been trying to fill out the collection I have here. Just one look at the shelves and you can see how well that's been going. I promised myself I wouldn't give up until I get at least a few things up on those shelves. You'd be doing me a great service if you could donate anything you find. Okay, so this is the Hako Life's museum. And it's uh, out here instead of in the town. Maybe it can be in the town later. Great stuff. Well, good luck. I do hope you find something. Use the detector. We got. Okay, dig. I found a geode. <laughs> Makes space. Hello, Leonard. I found a. I found a geode. Good to see you, Yellow. Donation. What's this? You managed to find something out here amongst the sand and driftwood. Let's take a look. All right, here you go. Geode. Ah, see, that's a geode you've just given me there. Not quite the thing I'm looking for, I'm afraid. However, they're pretty special. Inside geodes, you'll find gemstones like ruby, emerald, or sapphire. If you have a crafting bench, you can break them open and see what gemstone is inside. As for me, I'm only after artifacts like pottery, jewelry, those kinds of things. Okay. So, do, 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 do. let's see what else I can find. I got a Greek Athenian helmet. Wow. Now that's gotta be the sort of thing he's looking for. Hey Leonard, in about 30 seconds, I found an Athenian helmet. You have to find something out there? Yes. Here you go. Oh well, this is just fantastic. Thank you ever so much, Yellow. I'll go ahead and add it to the collection straight away. Okay. And you don't want the uh, geode, right? You still don't want the geode. Right, okay. But I get the idea. Alright, I didn't quite make my money back, I don't think. But, that'll be the island. I mean, I could get more bamboo, but it's late. Oops, sorry. Hurley. Yar. Home, please. You sure? Yep. I assume there's a. we can find him there. Okay, thanks, Hurley. 
Probably a good thing to get a uh, early night in. First thing you should open that geo. Because tomorrow, um, there's two different things going on. Our farmer moves in. Ah, okay. <laughs> but also... <sighs> a fishing competition. Uh, Rake geode. And I got a golden sapphire. Now what do I do with it? it sells for 90. It's not bad. Okay. Let's hit the hay. And tomorrow... Tomorrow are various things. <sighs> the day is finally upon us. Today's fishing tournament runs from 9 until 20. Head to the beach to get involved. Okay. Here, Moss. Have a piranha. Alright. Hello, Aubrey. Hi, Yellow. Nice to see you. Uh, I've been busy fixing up this old farmhouse in his land. What do you think? Uh, needs work. <laughs> I appreciate the honesty. You're absolutely right, of course. There's still a lot to be done. We can't plan anything until the land's been cleared of debris. I think it might be too much for me to do on my own. If you have time to help out, that would be very much appreciated. Okay. Well, uh... Some time, yeah. I don't want to go to the fishing tournament, but... Really... I have to. For the interwebs. Good, or just wandering around while I do all the work. Hiding behind the barn. Oop. Now, I don't want to go into the barn, but apparently you can go into the barn. Um. Wait, does this suggest that there's going to be, um, animal husbandry? And when I say animal husbandry, I don't mean you can get married to one of the villagers. <laughs> Watch it, Audrey. <laughs> I'm doing all the work. I might accidentally slip with this axe. I wouldn't. She's not that bad. Now, if it was Moss, on the other hand, then uh, he'd better beware. Eh. Eh. Okay. I think that's everything? You know, I think this place is just about ready for planting. You want to find out how to farm your own crops? Sure. Lovely. All pretty straightforward, really. First things first, you'll need to get the right equipment. you need a hoe and a watering can. I'll give you some crafting recipes you can go uh, all in and make your own. Come back when you've gotten both and I'll tell you the rest. Here you go. Uh, I have to go and make my own, huh? Hey, Yellow. Looks like I'm totally winning the fishing tournament. Noted. Okay, so what do I need to make my four steel? Oh, wow. Okay. I need ten steel. Do I have ten steel? This is not my house. Hi, Pip. I can, I under, I can see you're not participating in the tournament. There is Chill just told me I'm winning the fishing tournament. I kind of can't believe it, but I guess I'm happy. Apparently, everyone is winning the fishing tournament. I wonder if this is actually a tournament, or just, um... <laughs> he just says to anybody who asks that, um, they're a winner. Yes. Okay, that's a lot of steel. Make the hoe. Make the watering can. Alright. Meanwhile, back at the ranch... All right, Aubrey. Want to go after some farming? Uh, yes, please. Let's just dive right in. So, first thing you'll need to do is use your hoe to till the soil where you'd like to grow your crops. When you've done that, you can plant seeds into the tilled earth. The final step is the one that requires a little patience and dedication. You need to use your watering can to water your planted seeds every day. When they're fully grown, you can pick them and enjoy a delicious homegrown fruit or veg. Every day? Yep, your plants will need water every day if they're, gonna, if they're to grow well. 
depending on the plant, you can miss a day or two, but if you leave it too long, you know, though your poor little plants will uh, expire. There's nothing to be done at that point, but plant some new seeds and start again. Okay, got it. See, pretty simple, right? My shop is up and running now, so feel free to have a browse. Now some interesting seeds you might like to try growing and we'll add new stock over time. I'll hopefully get this place in tip-top condition as well. Anyway, you're my first and best student, so here's a free packet of seeds for you to try growing. Here you go. Good luck. All right, what did you give me? Ooh, a strawberry seeds. Nice, okay. Ah, they're seasonal. All right, which uh, makes sense. Okay, let's go and plant those somewhere in town. Right in front of May's house, which has a pink roof now, by the way. Okay. Strawberry seeds. Oh, right. I don't need to... My need is to till the ground. Okay, I need to undig these holes. Alright. Strawberry seeds. Me water in my watering can. To the river. Okay. I suppose I could have also gone to the sea. But <laughs> well, that sounds like a bad idea. Alright. My strawberries are planted. I guess there's nothing now to do but wait for that. Which means... No, no, I'm gonna go to the uh, fashion store, see if there's anything new in stock. Nope, exactly the same as yesterday. Well, I suppose there's no more procrastinating. Ah, I gotta go do the fishing tournament. Ugh. Ugh. Alright, Dylan, or Darius. Ah, Yellow, how's it going? A little fishing tournament has begun, and it's all very exciting. I'm sure it is. Try and catch as many golden weather loach as you can before 20. You can win trophies, and I'll even be giving a little extra to the villager who caught the most fish, too. Have a little peek at the leaderboard over there to see how it's going. And, well, good luck. Where's this leaderboard? Owen's got two. Neither May nor Tola have bothered. I guess I have to go up to the pond? I don't want to go up to the pond. I don't want to fish. Ugh. Here, fishy, 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 fish. Here, fishy, fishy, fish. Thrilling. This is the... The height of gameplay right here is... Fishing mini games. Sculpin. Apparently, I get a treasure chest from this one. A tadpole. And in this treasure chest is a bag of cash. Hey, I got one! Finally. Okay. 18 centimeters long. Yeah. Alright, uh, Dennis, I've got six of the things. Hello, how's it going? I hope you've been catching... Okay. Right. Let's go and look at the leaderboard, shall we? Hello, Owen. What you up to? I'm just chilling till I can hang with some buddies later. Uh... Wait a minute. So, while I was uh, out there fishing, I unlocked villager errands. What are these? Ooh. You can go get crystal, apparently. Huh. Sure, go and get some crystal. Okay. 
Wow, Owen's caught five, huh? Well, I don't think he'll be catching anymore because I sent him to go find Crystal. <laughs> but I'll um, I'll give this game that. I don't think that uh, Animal Crossing lets you uh, send your villagers off to go and um, go and collect things. I guess now I just kill time until um, until it's time for judging. Although it's possible Owen could catch up to me. Do I have to go and uh, do I have to go and? do more. Nah, it's only an hour. So I caught 18 sculpins, 4 tadpoles, and 6 golden loaches. And once I got the trick of uh, getting treasure chests, they're really easy to get most of the time. So now I'm, uh, I've got quite a lot of money. The things I was doing to make money, building mass of fishing rods and bronze pickaxes, um, is no longer necessary. I mean, I hate this way of making money, but it is undeniably efficient. All right, it's after 20, which is 8 p.m. Okay, and looks like I came out on top in this stupid, stupid tournament. Hello, Darius, yes. Have you been getting on fishing? Seems like you've caught quite a lot. I fell asleep by the riverside late last night and suddenly had an idea for something I thought would be rather fun. Don't make me go fishing more. You like to hear it? Sure. Har har, wonderful. Yes, so I was thinking we could perhaps spice up your fishing life a little bit here. And by spice up, I mean giving you challenges to test your mind. You just tell me if I won the, ch the competition. Uh, challenges. Every week, something simple you can have fun with. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, 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 fine. Catch any fish in ten minutes. Understood. But... Oh. <laughs> yeah. He's trying to destroy me. He's just trying to destroy me. Stop giving me fishing challenges. I just want to know if I won the competition. That's how you get treasure, by the way. You just need to make sure that you grab when the uh, bar is in the orange zone. Usually it gives you like 100 uh, bags of 100 coins. My reward for fishing appears to be more fishing. Up, rest, left, rest, up, left. Challenge complete. Alright. Dylan, Darren, Dylan, Darris. Uh, okay, challenge complete. Tremendous special reward. What? Was it just... I have no idea. Okay, but what about the, um... Uh, sure. New fish. Uh, 180. And then, um... Big fish, apparently. So... Where do I... Where do I turn in my thing for the competition? I mean, the leaderboard's here. Okay, so near as I can tell, he doesn't announce a winner tonight. We have to wait until tomorrow morning, so I am going to bed. Alright. It's Thursday. I better have won. After all that stupid fishing. Okay. Hey, top score in the fishing tournament. Here's your prize. Okay. And... Now I got a trophy. It's just a hundred. That's... I was... <laughs> uh, I fished up so much more than that. That's so... Uh, okay, wait a minute. Did I... Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> All that for a hundred gold, which I got every anyway. There's my trophy. Anyway, that's Hako Life. It's um it's an interesting take on the uh, Animal Crossing life sim sort of thing. It's got some interesting ideas. It's a little bit rough around the edges. Overall enjoyable, I think, um, when you're not trapped in an endless loop of fishing. <laughs> it does take a while. I have now have uh, many hours of uh, footage to uh, cut down to the um, do an episode. Uh, maybe we will stream more of this. I'll probably play a bit more myself, even if we if I don't stream. But um, yeah, it's a uh, interesting game and uh, an acceptable take on the um, Animal Crossing style. It's got some stuff that it even does uh, uh, does that Animal Crossing doesn't like the highly detailed item customization like this uh like i i of course can't do something like this but this uh this terrarium is uh very impressive but um yeah maybe we'll see this again but until then thank you all very much for watching and i'll see you next time bye